guys, I'm out with Wilbur. And uh, here he is making his little guinea pig noises. Wilbur is a teddy bear guinea pig. And guinea pigs have to have vitamin C in order to um, survive. If you don't give them vitamin C, they will get scurvy and they'll start to lose their fur and they can even die. And you can actually even crush up a vitamin C tablet and put it in their food, which also helps them. So what are you doing, Wilbur? making his little guinea pig noises. Now he's new to our home. We got him at the animal auction. So he's adjusting, but he's a happy little fella. I can tell that he was handled and loved before we, we had him because he's just so friendly and um, he loves people. They more than likely got rid of him because they probably just had too many guinea pigs. And they probably sold off a litter at the auction. What do you think, huh? So he's really cool because he has black eyes and he's all white. And his little ears. Oops, you can see a little ear. Are a little dark. What do you think there, Wilbur? He likes fruits and vegetables and his guinea pig pellets. And he loves to be handled. Guinea pigs are a great pet for children and even senior citizens because they're so loving and nice. Um, especially senior citizens, I would say, that live in a like an apartment because they don't have to worry about letting them in and out, yet they'll show them their affection because they're very affectionate and they're very sweet. And they're good for children because they're so gentle. What do you think, Wilbur? So we're starting to work with him a little bit because he's new and uh, he's getting used to us and we're just kind of comforting him and letting him know this is a good place to live and giving him apples and grapes and peppers and cabbage and little snacks, you know, to just kind of adjust him to our home. I've been doing a lot of dehydrating, so there's all kinds of goodies for little guinea pigs. You don't want to give them too many sweets, though, because you want them to be healthy. You, know, you don't want them to get too overweight. So I've held him quite a bit, and he hasn't gone on me at all. They can be litter trained as well, but I've kind of, you know, I never know. So I usually have a dish towel or something underneath me just in case they have an accident. But he hasn't had any accidents. Okay, hope you enjoyed seeing Wilbur today. Like, subscribe, tell me about your guinea pig, and we'll see you in the next video.